Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. Happy Wednesday. So today we're gonna to be answering a question from the inbox and I'm gonna be explaining some things because a lot of times when we talk about bullets and stimulators, the one thing that we have to understand is that all bullets are not created equal. Both of these are actual bullets, both. They look the exact same, but guess what? They're not created equal. So we're gonna get into it. Let me read this question. Hello, Sharonda, I bought a bullet and I like it, but my husband doesn't know. He won't like it or understand it. Is this a form of cheating? Okay, so the main question that I'm being asked is, um, when you bring toys into the bedroom, is that considered cheating? Okay, or a form of cheating? I'm always careful when I'm answering questions concerning infidelity. Because what I have learned over the years is what's acceptable in one marriage may not be acceptable in another. One relationship, one friendship, one whatever. So the thing is, that's why it's important to have the conversation. And I think that if we can remove some secrecy from these relationships, we can see a lot of improvement when it comes to the bedroom. Just by removing secrecy, okay? So... This is how I would have the conversation with my significant other if I was in this woman's shoes, okay? I would say, okay, I don't know how you heard about the bullet. It may have been from a coworker. It may have been from my page. Uh, you know, people, information is out there. People talk. So however it is, you went and bought a bullet. So sweetheart, today I went to the store and I bought a bullet. What you think about that? He may say, what is a bullet? Well, a bullet is a stimulator, and what it does is it enhances pleasure in the bedroom. I can use it by myself, or we can even use it together while we're intimate. Is that something that you think you would want to try? He's going to either say yes or no, right? If he says yes, great. If he says no, I don't want to try it, okay. Well, I respect that you don't want to try it, but this is something that I want to experience for myself. I want to um explore my body i want to learn my body and in order for me to learn it i do that by masturbating right so that's when you have the conversation of exploration i want to explore my body i want to see what my body is going to do of course this is a toy it's not going to replace you but let's talk about these toys because not all bullets are created equal if i was in a relationship with someone who was not open-minded I would not come to the bedroom with this bullet. This is an actual bullet, y'all. I would not come to the bedroom with banging. That's the name of this bullet. And this is bang. You see it says bang on there. I would not bring bang me to the bedroom, right? Especially if I was dealing with somebody that was extremely insecure because a bullet this big can be intimidating, okay? So we don't wanna bring a bullet this big into the bedroom. When we're dealing with someone and we're having to ease them into uh, what we're into, we want to go with a smaller bullet, okay? Now, this one is smaller. These bullets are, are the exact same, y'all. It's just they're different in size. You want the smaller bullet. It's not as intimidating. Normally, it's not going to be bigger than his penis, whereas this one could possibly be bigger than him, right? Depending on the man. So, this one is not going to be bigger than him, and, and it's not intimidating at all, Okay? Um, of course, now this one, you can't do the chasing the bullet with it because it's not on a cord. There's another video that I have about chasing the bullet. You can only do that with bullets that have cords. This does not have a cord. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this to stimulate yourself on the outside. You can ride him. You can reach back and stimulate his nutsack with it. Um, if he hitting it from the back, you can take it and you can stimulate your clitoris with it. Um, you can stimulate your nipples with it, his nipples with it. Like, it's, it's a lot that can be done with it, right? To bring that extra oomph into the bedroom. But, like I said, I would not recommend something big like this if you have someone that has an issue with toys or has expressed to you um, that, you know, the whole idea of bringing toys into the bedroom is, you know, something sinister or whatever. I would definitely try to start off with something small. Another thing is, I don't feel like you should hide things. Okay, I was actually talking to someone today 
And what I what I said was um, anything that I ever wanted to do in my bedroom, I always brought it up, right? Only thing you can say is yes or no. That's, that's all you can say is yes or no. And that's how we have a conversation understanding each other and the boundaries in the bedroom. I'm not going to suppress all of this that I want to do, right? And you not know about it. Now, the thing is, the things that I want to do, I may never get to do them, but it's not that you won't know that I wanted to do them, right? So that's what I'm saying. Have the conversation. And the only thing the person could say is, yes, I'm comfortable with it, or no, I'm not comfortable with it. And then you proceed from there. And, you know, for married women, I always say, if you are a married woman, you know, you try to respect the boundaries that are in place, you know. But if you're a single woman, you know, this is your time to explore what you like. This is your time, okay? So that's going to be that on that. If you're interested in these bullets, they're on the website. The website is listed below. This one is called Bang Me, and this one should be listed under Screaming O. Well, no, this one is Bang as well. Both of them are made from um, the same company, Screaming O, but I know this one on the website is listed under Bang. But this one has Bang on it too, but this one is a, um, this one is a smaller version of this one but it may be listed under Screaming O or maybe a kit or something like that. But the wireless bullet, it is on there, okay? All right, you all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Y'all, auntie is go out. I had a workout this morning and normally we walk. Yesterday we did a little walking and a tad bit of jogging. But today the jogging was actually put into our workout regimen today. So yes, ain't he got it in? Yes, my daughter was like, mama, you got a neck. I'm like, oh Lord, don't tell me I got a neck. I got a collarbone, I got a what? Yeah, so yeah, I'm still trying to get this COVID weight off and you know, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Trying to be healthy, that's all. You all be blessed, you all enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you later.